Hello, dear children. Welcome to Goodwill International School. This is the class for pre-K English class. Are you ready to learn with teacher Stephen? I hope so. So before learning, let's review. Always wash your hands with soap or shampoo. Be a mask when you need to talk to someone or when you get out of home. And yeah, it is best to remember that staying home is the safest things to do. So do not get out unless it's so necessary to go with your parents. So keep on practicing the three protection from the government, the Ministry of Health, right? So now let's move on our lesson. Let me guide you through the letter U today. So this is the capital U. This is another capital U. Wow, we have many ways to write the letter U. Wow, can I trace on it? Let's try. Okay, let's say this is the letter U. Maybe we can try letter U this way. Ah, I know, it's the letter U like this. This is the capital U. Or it can be like this. It is a capital U, right? How about this one? Ah, this is a lowercase u. Lowercase u has a big thingy here. It has a tail, you see? So let's trace with me. Maybe I can show you one more. Okay. All right. So this is a lowercase u. Can we trace a lowercase u? Okay, go up and then down a little bit. You see, it's a lowercase u. It's a bit different from the capital U. Oh, can I see this color? Right. So can you find the letter u here? Can you do that? Okay. What we have to do here is to color the sunflowers that have letter U on them. Can you find the letter U? Is this first one is letter U? Yeah, I can see that. This is a capital U in here. Can we color the flower now? Okay, color. Wow, this sunflower is beautiful. But how about this one? Is this a letter U? No. How about this? Ah, this is the uppercase. U. Right, color it. This one is letter U or not? It's not. It's letter B. How about this? Oh, yeah, it's letter U. See? It's a U shape. You see? So let me color it. Right. Okay. Next. It's the same thing. Find the letter U. Is this letter U? Okay, it is. How about this one? Is this letter U? Yes, it is the letter U. How about this one? Right. How about this one? No, it's the letter E. How about this one? It is letter D, not letter U. How about the last one here? Is it the letter U too? Okay, you are correct. This is the letter U. Good job. Can we you match the uppercase U with the lowercase U? Okay, trace a dotted line. So we have capital U match with lowercase U. Can you match with me? Okay, let's trace. All right, capital U match with lowercase U. Capital U match with lowercase U. Good job. Okay, this one. It's the same and the same. All right, good. So this is the letter U. We have the big U and the small U. Uh, you call capital U and the lowercase U. Good. Let's learn the words for the letter U. You have learned yesterday, but let's review. U is for unicorn, right? Unicorn. Can you say unicorn? And U is for Unicycle. Can you say it? Unicycle. Good. 
So U is for unicorn, U is for unicycle, U is for uniform. Can you say uniform? Good, uniform. U is for unhappy. So U has an O sound and has an A, has an A sound. Has an A sound and U sound. So A, 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 unhappy. U is an A sound, A, 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 umbrella. U is for A sound for A, 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 up. So U is for unhappy, umbrella, up. So you can see the different sound, U and A, right? Next, the letter U has more words. U is for underground. Wow, underground is a subway under the ground. See that? Yeah, it's just like some mouse, some rat, they dig underground, right? So U is for underground. U is for under. Example, the cat is under the table. Can you see that? This cat is staying under the table. So U is for under. And U is for utensils, knife, spoon, fork, and other kitchen materials are called utensils, right? This is, these are called utensils. So U is for underground, U is for under, U is for utensil. Okay, you have learned a lot of words for the letter U. So good job, kids. You can practice your worksheet. Bye-bye.